I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Passport to Romance, Chapter 6. Traveling in style. To move, to breathe, to fly, to float, to gain or while you give. To roam the roads of land, to remote, to travel is to live. Hans Christian Andersen. After boarding your train to Germany, you and your friends travel, marvel over the luxurious accommodations. Wow, the trains I've been on were nothing like this. I can only assume the American trains adhere to a lower style standard. Pretty much. You know what they say about assuming, don't you, Elliot? Ahem, I do not, as I'm above such childish banter. Isn't banter your thing, though? Well, not necessarily. Okay, okay, everyone. Point is, we definitely have to take advantage of the train while we're on it. Yes, and read that there's an observation car and dining car as well. Cool, I can use some time to settle my nerves before the game. I mean, the game will be a breeze. You've been working on these plays for months, and besides that, you've got natural talent. You've uh, been reading my pictogram replies, haven't you? Uh, no comment? Seriously, though, thanks. I'm uh, not gonna let my nerves get to me. At least not now. Glad to hear. We've got a couple of days before we reach Berlin anyway, so enjoy the trip. Marissa bounces excitedly. Okay, now we can explore the trust of the fancy train? Uh, yes. I want to see it all. Look, it's a moving train! Look, it's the Eiffel Tower! You know, speaking of which, was last week uh, Notre Dame? R.I.P. Interesting. Hope they rebuild that quickly. Everyone settles into the observation car or plush seats. This is the life. Is it even possible to be in Europe and not lo live luxuriously? Not if you're doing it right. Although we could probably use some champagne. I think you'll have to wait until the dinner time this time. Uh, but, uh, for now, let's uh, live stream. You pull out your phone. Hey everyone, we're on our way to Germany via the scenic route through Switzerland. Take a look at the French countryside. Comments. Double dork. Woo! Totally gorgeous. I can't wait to see what you're up to in Germany. Wait, question. How long are you going to be traveling together? Oh, good question. Gain some followers. You look up at your friends and consider the viewers. Question. I think we'll be together for... a long time. I can't see these friendships ending soon. These people are too special to me. That's so nice, John. Of your right. Me too. I hope we can all stick together. You nod fondly at your friends. Oh, look, another question! This one is, how do you feel about your contract getting extended? I feel... Focused on work. I want to make sure to, that you guys get the best content possible. That's very dedicated of you. Well, they've been uh, very dedicated in their support. Just then, your phone starts beeping. Text from Yvette. What could she want now? She's watching your live stream. That's what she wants. John, we're looking at doing some marketing for Wonderlust. I need the last names of your com companions in order to create a brief bio for each of them. Elliot's is Slangman. I don't know everyone else's, actually. That's not good, John. You should really know who you're traveling with. I thought they were friends of yours. I mean, I don't ask all my friends their last names. You know? It's like, hey, how you doing, Ben? Kyle. You don't go, Mr. Ben, or something like that. They're my friends. But I see your point. I, I gotta know the, get to know the four of them better. Whatever it takes. Just get me names. I'm down with your texting woman. What did you vet want? Uh, she just needed some info, so I'm gonna put it together for her. Ah, the life of a worker bee. What can I say? I'm a cog in the machine. Just then, the conductor walks in, he polishes a railing with a sleeve and glances around the, with pride. Mmm, how to do you, good sir? Uh, let's do, uh... Everyone enjoying the scenery, I trust? This train is so, uh, luxurious, a total blast to ride. Nice, but kind of more. So luxurious. I've been, uh, I've never been this comfortable on train ride. Excellent. That's what we want. To aim 
we aim to make international travel a breeze. That's your slogan, right? Ahem, <clears throat> it may be. Have you made the uh, plans for dinner? Ah, uh, don't think we're uh, quite gotten there yet. Oh, of course, we have sandwiches that you may eat in your rooms, but if you'd like something uh, a little more special... Uh, i definitely like to know the very option. We have an exquisite four-course dinner available in our private dining car. Four courses? I don't even know if I can fit that much food in me. I'd love to try, though. Agreed! I never say no to a VIP ticket. In before, ta in before diamonds. Very good. So you'll be joining us this evening? I've always wanted to eat in a high-end dining car. Enjoy a fancy meal with your friends and dance with a special someone in the scene! <sighs> no. I was actually kind of thinking of laying down for a little and the sandwich uh, should be fine for me. That's great! So let your other, like, friends go and do their thing. Of course, I'll inform the dining staff. Maybe I'll uh, try to catch up on my picture and messages. I might stay here and sketch for a bit. I'll probably wander the train, see if uh, there's anyone interesting talking to talk to. I uh, can watch some old games and on my phone, see if I can pick up any of the other team's quirks. Now, sounds like everyone could use a break for an hour or two. Let's meet up afterwards. A few minutes later, you're enjoying a small but delicious sandwich in your room. Mmm, Munster cheese. Who knew? I've never had that. After a bit, the motion of the train lulls you into a nab. Zzz. What? Eh. Glance down to find your group chat with your friends, blowing up with notifications. Yo, can we come to your car? We want to hang. Wake up. Someone really should say please. Please, John, we want to hang out with you. <laughs> okay, yes, of course. Give me a second to wake up properly. Lazy, you're still sleeping? I'll throw this goddamn phone out the window if you don't stop. Be nice. We just got together like ten minutes ago. It's, it's fine, John. Yeah, but still hungry. I have a little bottle of something, something. She won't give it to us without you. Okay, come over. Wait, where was Elliot in that conversation? He's just sitting there awkwardly. Your friends arrive at the door and all cram inside your sleeping car with you. You glance out the window. Well, there goes my peacefulness. Countryside looks uh, pretty this evening. Is that a cow? Where else do you think all the hammerbird comes from? Mmm, I could use an after dinner cheese plate. I am still a bit hungry. I can't help you with the cheese, but I do have a little bit of a digestive here. I, I, okay. Slyly, she pulls a bottle of absinthe out of her purse. Where in the f*** did you get this? Ah, that looks like the good stuff. Oh, it is. For those who want to drink, of course. But I'm thinking of a drinking a little over sharing exactly what we want, what we need right now. I mean, I'll have, uh, absinthe. I can drink right out of the bottle. A true partier needs no glass. Your friends settle down. Samira raises her hand. What is this, goddamn kindergarten? So, what's this about oversharing? It's time to get down to the nitty-gritty. No more secrets, people. I have a question. I want to know... Uh, How'd you learn about the birds and the bees? What superpower do you need in your life? Uh, boy, birds and bees. I had to learn most of my information from books, really. My parents were not forthcoming about such issues. My parents were hush-hush, too. But I listened to other girls at school talk, and often you can learn a lot from, well, eavesdropping. My mom and I, Dad, talked to... Mom and I talked about it. And, uh, all the time. Since I was like 10, but she definitely let me think through my own options. Who, who talks to their child at 10 years old about the birds and the bees? I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. 13, 14 maybe, but come on. 
My parents mentioned it when we uh, talked about our th faith. And of course, the rest I heard through school and just hanging out with guys. Smile at your friends. I already feel like I know you all a little better. Let's kick things up a notch. When you're seeing someone, when do you take things to the next level? Physically, I mean. When it feels right. As long as we're on the same page and have communicated properly. To be honest, I, I never gotten to that point. I mean, all the way. I probably won't until I get married. Oh! In major respects, bro. And Pixelberry introduced their first virgin. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I, on behalf of the virgin populace, would like to say thank you. Really? I guess I would have assumed since you're a, a famous football star and... Ah, uh, sure. I get you. But in my personal life, I just want to build a really deep emotional connection with the person I'm seeing. I'm not saying this is the only way to live life, but for me, personally, I need that emotional foundation first for a long-lasting love that matters a lot to me. Me too. It's really important for to me that long-term commitment to another person is solid before I go to the next level. She tosses her hair and grins. So far, that hasn't happened, but I'm good with it. Oh, do we have two? I am fucking shocked right now. Oh my god. Really, Pixelberry? Okay. Oh my god, I'm loving this mad respect. It just feels... Let's me work on building trust with the right person. Uh, what do you think, Samir? It's a natural part of the life cycle. I think the moment will come, and you'll know. It's a beautiful way of living in the moment. That, that doesn't answer the question. Your turn, John. Give us a scoop. I'm all about, uh... Mmm. I'm all three. Um, going with the flow, yes. But I don't want to go, like, you know, like a dam suddenly breaking and get... Th that's a big, heavy flow, do you know what I'm saying? Not one of those. Um, the physical chemistry, yeah, you just gotta be a little bit of that. And the emotional side of the relationship. It, yeah, you have to be connected. I, I, I think that's probably one of the strongest ones. I really want to connect with the person I'm dating. And I'm all about the romance and the feelings that come with it. Physical stuff isn't my top priority. I totally get that. Same. My teammates tease me about being a big old romantic, but I can't help it. Marissa claps her hands together. Well, this has been a great start. Do you all want to keep going? Uh, well, it's fun. What if we uh, do a little dare drink, though? It would be a great way to get to know each other even better. Love it, but we need a twist. How about we bring the followers in? They can give us the dares. Sounds dangerous. Are you sure you're in for that, John? Party with your friends. Impress Yvette by getting more full info about them in this special scene. You'll even get a chance to learn everyone's last names. So what happens if they dare me to kiss someone I don't really want to? Say that, say that, gotta drink, gotta drink. Go to sleep. Actually, I think I've had enough craziness for one day. Plus, I want to be arrested for Berlin. Good point, John. We should all probably take it easy today. I can't believe you lot are so tired. I could run a marathon or plot a devious adventure. I'll probably listen to some music, but I'm definitely headed to bed soon. What about you two? Any big plans before sleeping? I'll be catching up on my celeb gossip if anyone needs me. I was gonna watch a few more football clips my coach sent me. Friends wave goodbye and head into their sleeping compartments. Still have a little energy. Maybe I should text someone to come back. Spend time with that friend. To get to know them better. Perhaps do a little more. Bow chicka wow wow! Bow chicka chicka wow wow! Chicka chicka wow! Chicka chicka wow wow! Oh! Look at that! So hey, uh... You know, I've noticed the uh, Choices fan, uh, fandom has made a big deal about this guy. And about his religion. And, uh, about how, uh, you know, kinda not in their faith to drink alcohol, which... They kind of avoided this, didn't they? They kind of just hinted around it, but he didn't really do it. Um, and so here we are. We're going to do something special with him. And uh, I wonder if it goes to the next level. 
Because, oh, the fandom's really gonna get mad now. Eh, I guess I'll be left to wonder. Someone should let me know how upset the fandom gets. You brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. Hey guys, just think about this. It's fiction. It doesn't really exist. Take it easy, guys. Just take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Just take it easy. It's fiction. It doesn't exist. It's a video game. Okay? Just feel me, okay? Here I come, bed. Before you begin to fall asleep, you grab your phone to text your bed. So, uh, no last names. Sorry about that. John, when I ask for something, I want it done. It didn't come up. I can keep trying. We'll use the first names, but know that I'm not happy. I give a crap. Anything else? Fine for now, user engagement seems up. Yay. Don't get comfortable. I've still got my eyes on you and your friends. I want this stop in Berlin to go well. Well, we've got a, ma a meds game, and the viewers will love that. Let's hope so. Get there without any problems. Are we clear on that, John? Crystal. Suddenly the train derails! Everything's on fire! Everyone's dead! Hey, Yvette, is it a problem for you? Stare you stare at your phone until it blinks off. That uh, was kind of scary. wonder if she's mad. She's always mad. I guess all I can do is now is sleep. Turn the light off and cuddle up and under the blankets, trying not to think too much about Yvette's messages. Suddenly you're awakened by the sound of screeching brakes. Huh? Hey, look at that, I called it. You hurry out of bed and to the dining car where all your friends are standing with the conductor and a few other passengers. Ah, uh, what's going on? Look out the window and see that the train is stopped. We're in Lucerne. There was a landslide onto the tracks. We won't be able to proceed for now. Are you saying we're stuck? Indeed, but please enjoy the city of Lucerne with complimentary vouchers to affiliated establishments. Oh, yes, please. I've always wanted to visit this place. Lucerne's one of the best kept secrets in Europe. You won't be disappointed. I'm ready for another adventure. How about you, John? Always. Wonderlust is at blogger level. This is one out of four in the internet stardom. Keep playing to find out. Okay, what adventures will you soon bring, and will you ever make it to a Meads game in Berlin? Answer is no. No, we won't. <coughs> well, if you missed that, it was me. Anyway, without further ado, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And now, description below, links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support yours truly. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, the fandom, I, I, I try to stay off of Tumblr. I stay, I stay the fuck away from the fandom. A lot of people get really upset about the, 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 you know, how they're not to the T. You know, someone should be held just to the T of something. And, um, no, I disagree with that. I disagree entirely. You know, if that's the, if that's the case, um, anyone who's a Christian should be stoned and put to death because they work on a Sunday. Um, pretty much, shouldn't we be, um, doing horrific things to the Catholic priests who abused little boys? Um, what about the nuns that buried hundreds to almost a thousand sh babies and children? Like, give me a break right now, okay? You know what I'm saying? L like, l it's a game, guys. It's a game. Maybe Amid isn't fully there with his faith and whatnot. Maybe he's questioning it. This is transition through people's lives or whatnot. Let him be human. If you're going to treat him like a real person, if you're going to give the writers crap, if you're going to throw shade or hate or whatnot at Pixelberry, consider it for a moment. There are some people that take, I, for instance, am one of those people, that take religious aspects from religion as a person who has studied almost a half a dozen, if not more, religions, and I've taken good aspects from each religion as I've met along the way and been a really good person. But do I follow, you know, all those religions to the T? No, because they contradict one another, don't they? But I still am a really good person. I still have common decency. I still have common respect for, you know, my fellow man and woman or whoever. Um, I I. I you know, and then there's things that I look at religion and I think they're completely and utterly stupid. So let Amid, a fictional character that doesn't really exist, let him be him. 
let the writers do what they do. You know, imagine telling J.K. Rowling what to do. She's going to look at you and laugh at you and be like, who are you? Imagine telling George Lucas or Walt Disney or Jeff Bezos or Steve Jobs or Bill Gates how to do what they do. They're going to laugh at you. You know, so when it comes to something like this, let the writers do what they do. If you feel that it goes beyond your thing, hey, guess what? You don't have to read the chapter. You don't have to continue on. Just feel free to quit. I am here for the journey, and I hope everyone that watches my content and everything, hey, you know what? If you feel this is against you right now, share it. I want to have a civil debate here. We can agree to disagree or whatnot. But, you know, when it comes down to a meet, I look at him and I'm like, okay. The, you know, this is a religion that I know, you know, a little bit on, but at the same time, I don't know fully. So let the writers explore it. Let them test the waters. Let them screw up even. You know, let them have a backlash or let them let them just maybe maybe he rediscovers his religion. Maybe he was questioning it. Maybe, you know, let it happen. Let it happen. OK, you know what I'm saying? So thank you once again for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.